All right, today's beekeeping chores include combining a um, colony that had lane workers. The queen, for some reason, was not there, and so the workers took over the queen duties and were laying eggs, unfertilized drone eggs. So uh, the problem with that is that they'll dwindle, and uh, it's not a viable colony. So we chose to take a colony that could use some more bees and combine the two to make the one stronger. Okay, so if you want to combine a hive, first you'll have to get a, you'll have to have a screen to put in between the hives because bees can be salty about getting a new queen and they'll have to take a while to adjust, about a week to adjust to the new queen. So you'll just put the screen in between and then place the other hive on top. And then uh, when when about a week or two passes, you'll remove the screen, but you'll have to mock the queen and put her in a push, push down, pushing push. cage, um, and you'll press her against one of the frames, and so the bees can't hurt her if they're still salty. Um, and then after a while of in the and then you'll combine the frames with the two hives. After a while of her being in the pushing cage, um, I'll just let her out. Well, uh, it, the way we've arranged it, it wouldn't hurt to leave him there for a week. And it would increase your in chances of the queen being accepted. So it's usually not that difficult to introduce a new queen. But when a colony develops lane workers, they think they have a queen or queens, and it's really hard to change their mind to accept a new one. So if the queen's a valuable one that you're going to combine them with, we want to make every attempt to protect her and make sure it goes well. So they're looking for the queen bee so they can mark her today. Well, the, the pattern on this is a little bit shotgun. See there, lots of spaces in between. I suspect that's because of the uh, chalk brood. Okay, look for the queen on that side, you see her? Well, this might take a while, we're just gonna have to go through them again. That queen should have marked her when we had a chance. So there's eggs in there. So we know the queen's in there, but we're gonna combine some bees that work that had lane worker. And so I want to make sure that they don't wipe out the queen when we combine them. So they've been, they've already been combined for a little while through that screen, see? For almost a week. Okay, through that, this screen right here? Yes, right. So that's the screen we had in between the two boxes. Hold that up for the camera. And so they should have had a chance to get acquainted through the screen. And so now when we introduce them to the queen in person, they won't argue about it. But I want to mark the queen just so that I know for sure everything went well next time we look in here. Yeah. So that's the other box that had laying workers in it. And you know she has to be in that box because the screen was between. Yeah, she's got to be down here somewhere. She's got to be in here. No other place she could be. We should have marked her before when she was easier to find. Now we got more bees, it's harder to find her. She's not dead. If she was gone, they would be getting busy making making a new queen. So we don't see queen cells. So we're not worried. I'm sure she's in here. There's a little bit of chalk brood in here. Chalk? Yeah. Chalk brood. Well, you see this looks like chalk? See that chalk color? That's a little baby uh, brood, see? It's a larva that's got fungus around it and turned to chalk color. Chalk. Uh, Moisture inside the hive is too high and it's cold so it doesn't dry out. So the fungus gets in where the larva is inside the cells and kills the larva, turns them into mummies. And they have this chalk-like appearance. And you'll see these on the bottom board and the bees will pull them out of the cells and kick them out front so you'll see them on the ground in front of the hive. It usually clears up on its own. There is no treatment for it. You just hope it clears up on its own. All right, I don't see the queen on there immediately. I bet she's on the next one. Ready? There she is. Okay. Oh, yay! We're gonna mark the queen. I have to catch her and put her in this queen marking tube. 
Okay. We're going to mark the queen. All right. There's the queen bee. Whoa. Caught her. Caught her by the wings, okay? <laughs> Don't do this if she hasn't made it yet. All right, I'm going to put her in there. In there. Okay, and then we put this in gently. We don't want the plunger to fall on her. It's got uh, some foam in there to keep her nice. All right, now I'm going to get the paint ready. Here's the paint. We just use like. Okay. What kind of paint do we use? Now, this is model paint. It's an oil base. It's quick drying. And uh, we're going to take this little uh, twig here and use it for a paintbrush. All right. Mm -hmm. Now so we're going to pin the queen bee gently. Very gently against the... We do not want to hurt the queen bee. Right, all right. So we got our thorax there. Yeah. Okay, we got a little dot on her thorax. Yeah. And then we'll let her dry in there for just a minute before okay. we put her back so it doesn't it doesn't get smeared all over. Now I'm going to take a little paint and I'm going to put a little dot right on the front of the hive here. So when I look at this the next time, I'll know there's a queen bee in there that's got a mark on her. She's marked. Oh, look, they're trying to help her. Yeah, they they can smell her in there. They want to get her out of there. They're like, no, we're queen. All right, the paint's dried on the queen. So we're going to put her back on to the frame. And then we're going to put this push-in cage over the top of her to protect her as we add the other bees to this colony. We'll come back in a day or two and then let her out of this. All right? Mm -hmm. Now he's got the queen all the other. I'm going to cover the... Uh, I'm going to put, put the pushing cage with some honey in the corner there. So now, all right, we put it on now. We make sure the queen's safe there. And we'll push it down into the, into the comb. Ooh. Right, so she can't crawl out underneath. We don't want to push it down too far, so it smashes. All right, she's in there. Okay, she's protected. Now we put the hive back together. Cool. Well, we only have, uh, we're at the end of June, and we only have five or six frames in here. This nuke hasn't expanded much. And then we had some other bees that went queenless, and so we might as well combine the queenless ones with this one so we'll make this colony stronger and better fit to survive because of the bee boost the pushing cage will protect the queen from the other bees that we're going to combine in case they uh, reject their queen it'll give them time to get used to the queen through the screen and then we'll take the uh, we'll release the queen out of that pushing cage here in a couple of days We'll know for sure she's safe. All right, putting the second box back on here. We're gonna give it a little, a little wiggle so those bees move out of the way. We won't smash any bees. All right. They're all just like, what, what happened? All right, got a few more frames of bees in this box. We're gonna add to it. Does um, combining the laying worker hive with your other hive put the queen at risk? Uh, yes, it could unless you do it right. So I've taken several precautions so that we don't harm the established queen, right? We put a, a screen in between the two boxes for a few days, and then uh, as I take that screen out, I've uh, caged the queen with a push-in cage to protect her once the bees mingle completely together rather than just through the screen. So we'll leave the push-in cage in for a couple days, then release the queen, and that should uh, take care of the problem. I'm just going to shake these bees off. Okay, now we've got room for this frame. They're bringing in a lot of honey. Another frame of added bees. These bees will be happy now. They've got a queen bee. Yeah. See how these shell, these cells right here are uneven. Yeah. They're bumpy. They're not flat. They're built.
building that cell wall out further than the rest of them. Yeah. So we know we've got land workers in here. So we're going to correct that problem. That's what we're doing right now. There's a queen cell. Hey, here's a good picture of this. Look at this. Okay, so we're looking through my hive, and my dad found a queen cell next to a queen cup. Good. Let's review what we did today, Luke. what we're going to do is uh, combine we're going to feed oh I, yeah feed the food I got in a hurry to put another frame in we need to leave space for the feeder we're going to feed it yeah. this piece <laughs> alright now put the um, put the feeder back in there can you do it alright and I'll get the uh, sugar uh, the uh, honey syrup Feeding them something will keep them occupied and that will also help with queen introduction since they're busy picking up syrup they've got a job to do rather than argue about the new queen. Mm -hmm. no mm. If you were a bee you'd just die right in there. <laughs> Splash! <laughs> okay I'm going to do my best shot here see if we can get it in the feeder and not spill all over everywhere else. Okay, I'm going to drizzle a little bit over here. Okay. I got a bee in my bonnet. Here's, oh, there is a bee in your bonnet. Here's the best thing to do if you get a bee in your bonnet. That Take bee bonnet usually just wants to get out. So, I'll step away from the hive. Far enough so the bees don't chase me. I'll take my bee veil off and we'll let the bee out, right? Now I can put my bee veil back on and everything's okay. 